A sad reminder today that conditions don't have to be extreme to see an avalanche in Colorado. A man died in an avalanche in Clear Creek County this morning. These are aerials from the slide from Sky 9. The victim and two other people were snowshoeing on Kelso Ridge. That's off of I-70 near the Bakerville exit in Clear Creek County. Nine News reporter Ryan Harris is live where the rescuers brought the survivors. Ryan. Boy, Kim, this was a relatively small but a mighty avalanche on Kelso Ridge. Really packed a punch. It's on the way to a 14er just east of the Continental Divide called Torrey Peak. It's also near Gray's Peak. A man, uh, two men and a woman met here in a parking lot off the Bakerville exit around 7 o'clock this morning to go snowshoeing. The woman was leading the group across some uh, pretty rough terrain at about 12,000 feet. She looked back at one of the men and that's when the avalanche happened. That man was the only one to get caught and buried in the snow. He and the woman were wearing beacons, so she was able to track him down in about 20 minutes. The woman and the other man tried reviving the victim, but he did not have a pulse. That's when she called 911 for help. The Alpine Rescue Team and the Clear, County, uh, Clear Creek County Sheriff's Office responded to get them off the mountain. Right now, the possibility for avalanches isn't all that high in this area. Even so, experts say they can happen and the small ones can clearly be deadly. In a moderate avalanche danger, it means that the chance of a spontaneous avalanche, an avalanche just breaking and running down into the valley by itself, um, is decreasing, but it's still possible for human triggered avalanches. And it sounds like that's what happened here today was that people were um, crossing a slope that they had some concern about. 